Now, one of the major dilemmas that one has in his or her career is that how often should I change my job? Now, if I change my job too often, do I run the risk of being labeled as unstable? But then, on the contrary, if I continue to stay in an organization for quite a long period of time, I might then become redundant and deadwood in the overall scheme of things. Look at the world around you and we find these people who at every appraisal cycle are frustrated that the company has not recognized their loyalty, the HR feels that they've lost market value and in many cases they have actually lost market value by just sticking to the same organization for the last n number of years and continuing in the same role at the same geography. Normally, what happens is that every time you change your job, you move into a different company. Now, that company can be within the same group. So, for example, if you are part of a major conglomerate like a Tata or a Builda or a Reliance, so you can move from Reliance Retail to a Geo to Petrochemical and then maybe into the Vimal scheme of things. So, every time at least you are changing your business unit and your company has put you in the fast track mode. Or if you are continuing to stay in an organization, you got one clear godfather who is pulling you along. But let's say you have not got a godfather and you are continuing to stay in an organization. Year on year, you are becoming Nakul Sehadev in the appraisal process. The most logical thing will be to change jobs. Now that's easier said than done because the longer you stay in a particular job, your experience is going to become all the more stereotyped, cliched in a particular segment. But then, if you actually change jobs, you will find that your skills will also get upgraded because you are working in a new organization, a new culture, a new geography and in a new role. I can count n number of people in the banking, financial services industry as well as in FMCG who have changed jobs every two and a half three years. And in the last 15 years, they might as well have changed five jobs, but then they've grown to become regional heads and national commercial heads and partners in their big fours, which to my mind is something which is outstanding, which could probably never have happened if you have stuck to the same organization in the same role. So here the message is twofold. One that if I am continuing to stay in an organization, I need to frequently change my job roles. Yes, in some cases, uh, the location will become a problem. Let's say you want to stay into your hometown, into Delhi NCR or in Bombay and that organization has got only that particular role to offer you. In that case, yes, you are limited. But then if case you are locationally mobile, it is best to change jobs every now and then. Even after an appraisal cycle, go out in the market, search for jobs, get an offer letter. If the company really values you, they are going to match your salary. So that's technically called R by R, recognition by resignation. Frequent job hoppers have got a higher learning curve and in fact they're more productive these days because you, they know that how I need to come into an organization and create an impact in a short period of time. The so-called deadwood will never ever understand how do you impress people in a short period of time. When you worked in multiple roles in multiple jobs, geographies, cultures, etc. You will find that this art of impressing people comes very quickly. So friends, those are days where, uh, you know, one of my ex-employers used to give Shabashi awards to employees. 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, one Titan watch, 1000 rupees token money. And that used to actually, people used to feel proud that they've spent their lifetime in a single organization. In fact, my own grandfather has spent his entire life in a single organization. And those things were things which used to be bragging rights, these things used to give. But today, the young generation feels that job hopping has become a necessary evil. There is a CNN study that in the first decade of your graduation, youngsters have been changing four jobs. So friends, there is no stigma nowadays attached with frequent job changes as long as you are getting a new role into a new company and a 30% hike as compared to a 5-6-7% normal salary hike. Who stops you from becoming the Virat Kohli's of the world? Not so standing of course the current form in uh, IBL. 
सो ऑल द बेस्ट डू चेंज जॉब्स देर इज नो हार्म कीप ट्राइंग एंड गेट इन टच विथ कंसल्टेंट जॉब पोर्टल योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सीनियर्स हु आर इन डिफरेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कीप पेस्टरिंग दैम वंस इन अ वाइल दैट इज दे गॉट समथिंग टू दैट्स रेलिवेंट फॉर यू बिकॉज जॉब हॉपिंग हैज बिकम अ नेसेसरी इवेल in the current scenario of course yes unless you get growth in the same organization with the help of a godfather or you got that visibility as a blue eyed boy then of course i'll not recommend changing jobs because changing jobs also comes at a cost because every time you go to align yourself to a different corporate politics and a different culture different working style normally that will therefore work for you in case you have not been able to get a godfather in fact people to become partners in big four are changing after 15 years as director in a company they've grown up to become director but they are hitting the glass ceiling the partner will not allow them to become from director to partner so they are jumping into the other big four and becoming partner so that's uh, the current reality no stigma attached with job hopping it's the necessary evil of our times thank you so much if you've liked this video please like it on the, the youtube platform please share it with your near and dear ones i'm sure a lot of people will find the content on my channel quite useful and please hit the subscribe button if you haven't so far and also press the bell button for notifications thank you bye bye